Welcome back to Colorado Springs, folks. That last fight was definitely something. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and take a look at the loot that we got out of it. Some sludge. Some money. Ooh. Another wool skull ornament. Some scrap armor. Scout pants. Ooh. Bunch of junk. Bunch of junk. Some 30 out 6. More junk. 762, intricate. Okay, yeah. I'm good with all that. Uh, armor crate? Tactical armor, a tactical armor helmet, and tactical armor leggings. 556? Five, five, I'll happily take that. Let's try to see. It's in the booze box. Some mile high mug fillers. Straight out of the mile high city. Um, you know, the scent of charred meat and burnt hair wafts from the pit. Smoking bodies contorted by agony or post mortem muscle contraction lie curled atop one another. It's impossible to identify the corpses, but they appear to be both adults and children. Lucia stares at the bodies. Her knuckles are white on the grips of her guns, and her breath comes in little gasps. Any sign? No. Can't see a... a thing. Who would do this? Who would murder families and children? Who would burn them so badly that we can't even tell? I don't know if they're here or not. I can't... Come on. Let's find the monsters who did this. Um, I'll examine the bodies a little more closely. Near the edge of the pit, a child-sized corpse appears to be clutching something as if they were protecting it or hiding it. That... That was one of the Skylar girls, I think. Seems like we ought to leave her alone. Feels an awful lot like grave robbing. I mean, that's not grave robbing if they never, you know, were in a grave. Ooh. But what's over here? Grenade box? Somalis? Injury kit. Medic pack. Speaking of a medic pack, let's go ahead and heal up Lucia. And then you got to level up. Another attribute point. Strength wouldn't be bad. Strength would not be bad. Brawling and mechanics is what you got right now. What does that give you? Extreme combo. Don't stop just because you heard a few bones snapping. Excuse me? Uh, Shaolin Surprise, 2 AP, a crippling brawling attack that penetrates through the target's defenses for every one combo meter built up provides plus 2 armor penetration and plus 10 damage. <sighs> oh my god. After use, it resets your combo meter and deals 100% damage to demoralized targets. Oh my Jesus. So that's plus 10 damage per combo point? God. Brawling combo maximum increased 10 times. Okay. Let me just... Uh, yeah, no. Brawling. Yeah. Shell and surprise. That's a hell of a finisher. And then... This armor that we got. Uh, tactical armor? Okay, the tactical helmet, crit chance plus three. Yeah. And then you have scout pants. I might give you scout pants. You can use the rad tech pants. 
she could probably use the crit. Uh, what do you have? I guess he'll take that. Plus six. Yeah, let's just... Uh, let's just give her all that armor. Although... <laughs> I want her hat show. Let him know who you're repping. Oh. Refugee camp. Isaac Reed. The clothes on this young man are impeccably tailored, the height of local fashion. He holds his hands up and launches into what is obviously a prepared speech. I'm Isaac Reed. On behalf of all of us here, I want to offer our unconditional surrender. As proof of our goodwill, I want to tell you that the culprits got into town with help from Farron Brago's organization, and... and... Isaac, how could you? How could you throw in with these people? How could you let them take my family? Where are my parents and my little brother? They're, they're in the grave you passed on the way here. They didn't suffer, Lucy. Oh. I promise. They didn't look. I didn't mean it to go this way. That's not good. I tried to stop them. I, I really did. I stop talking right now. Lucy is pissed. Now, you were helping the Dorseys. We thought we were in the right. The Dorseys promised that we could take down the Patriarch. They didn't say anything about murdering hostages. Um. What about all the other people they killed? Or was that part okay with you, Isaac? Just tell us how those people wound up dead. It was Melius Dorsey. He went looking for your family, Lucia. Your family especially. That's why I got you out of your house before the raid. Want anything to happen to you? <laughs> you didn't want anything to happen to me, so you let savages abduct and murder my family. You knew what they meant to me. You knew what their loss would do to me. Yeah. You're still alive, Lucia. Don't you see? You're still alive, and that's what matters. Oh, you selfish me. prick! And where's Neilis Dorsey? He escaped. He took some vehicles and headed west into the mountains. I don't think he was planning to come back. And why'd you do it? We've been under the Patriarch's boot for 50 years. We say that the hundred families are in charge, but it's really just his family. Just him. I know you must think I'm a fuzzy-headed idealist, but this society's sick. It needs to change. And were the Dorseys alone? Did they have support from anyone the else? Diego's gang helped them get into town. I don't know how or why. And I overheard Neelius say something about Liberty Buchanan, the Patriarch's daughter. Great. I think... I think she's going to attack Colorado Springs. It sounded like she's gathering an army out in the plains. Something way worse than the Dorseys. Great. I have heard enough. If your betrayal of my family was not sufficient, your treachery here most certainly is. Oh, Jesus. In the name of the Patriarch, I sentence you. Her voice shakes, but her hand is not. You didn't even see her draw her gun. Please, Lucia. I did this for you. All I ever meant was to help build a better world for you. For all of us. I can't tell you how much I regret. Please don't kill me. Please. Go for it. Please, Lucia. Love you. Damn. The bullet strikes him in the gut. He topples, blood spilling from his lips and a slowly spreading pool of gore surrounding him. He turns his head up to Lucia, agony in his gaze. It's going to take a, him a long time to die. I'll let him bleed. He can't summon words around, uh, around his pain. He reaches out, trying to touch Lucia's leg. She steps hurriedly away, leaving him mewling in the snow. Oh, God. 
It hurts so bad. Psycho! You killed Isaac! You kill us all! Well, now I am. <laughs> oh, just mowing through them. Oh, went down in the valley to pray, studying about that good old day. Come on, Malice, finish him. I'm just sad that the music's over. Come in November 1. This is Ranger HQ. We're getting reports of shooting in your last known location at Garden of the Gods. What's your status? Over. Took care of the Dorseys. No survivors. Kick ass, November 1. Glad to hear justice has been done. Brass knuckles. Hundred sixty seven dollar dues. Uh, VP ninety one Z semi auto pistol. VP ninety one Z a hunting knife. Brass knuckles a hunting knife. Another VP. All right, let's see what we got going here. A molly, a tommy gun, some ammo, money, cut rifle barrel, okay. Exony, ooh, burn book, okay, some useful stuff. It's in the med crate. Suture kit, injury kit, what about the camp? Only a few days old, looks like they gathered here before their attack on the city. And yeah, that would be yeah back to Colorado Springs, I suppose. It's a rare, fully functioning society in a post-apocalyptic America, but many harsh sacrifices have to be made in order to maintain it. I don't know if I should tell people that uh, I just murdered a bunch of hundred families, youth. Guess, you know, we don't have to tell them if they don't ask. We just, you know, the Dorseys killed everybody. I came in, I killed the Dorseys. I did my job, you know? Yeah, sure. And if uh, Lucia, you know, eh, she might, she might be a little concerned about it, but at the same time, she, she took the first life. She shot first. She can't be mad at me for following up, supporting her, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking scumbag Isaac Reed. I killed him. I really killed him. I can't believe he's dead. I can't. Calm down. Don't blame yourself. We were the ones who told you to shoot him. Still, I pulled the trigger. The choice was mine. I could have... I could have let him live. Now... Now he's dead. And the only memories I have are of him begging for his life. I need to find the people who steered Isaac wrong. 
the people who were really responsible, Neelius, Dorsey, and Liberty Buchanan. Will you help me find them? You can count on my guns every step of the way. Yeah. Return. You follow orders like a ranger. Of course. Good. You've got yourselves a bargain, rangers. We should go after Neelius Dorsey first. Isaac said he headed west into the mountains. No doubt he plans to hole up at one of the old resorts from before the bombs fell. I don't think we're ready to face him yet, though. Neelius will be dug in, I expect, and he'll have all his best people with him. Mm -hmm. He only left behind the expendables in the garden. I thought she said she was gonna follow orders, not give them. Shut up, Quan. For now, we should head back to the sheriff. Got some wells to distribute. Yeah, we got some levels to distribute. More combat speed? Yeah, I like speed. Like me some speed. Wait, wait, wait. hold up. Overhealing? Also boost the target's max con by 25% for three turns. Okay, now that is crazy. Yes, please. And, eh, you know, sure. We'll go with that. Uh, bleeding strike. Rally. That could be useful. Because I don't really use Chasm as a fighter all that much. Uh, and this is Ghost. Oh, yeah. Let's get you some more intelligence. Big guns? Nerd stuff? Explosives. That's what we want. We want our explosives. Jesus. Robotsy hack. Okay. Fire resistance and explosion resistance. Bomb recovery. Minesweeper. Um. Minesweeper? Uh, petite feet, they can laugh all they want. It's, you can no longer set off landmines when stepping on them. Well, that, I mean, they'd be useful for one person, yes, but. Attack some gulf targets. Heavy MG attack that consumes twice as many bullets. Enemies in the area take minor damage and are suppressed, losing speed and hit chance for two turns. Deals a bunch more damage to. Move up. You know. Suppressing fire could actually be good. It's cheap. All right, we got some uh, some shit to sell. Shut your hole. I knew you slept with my wife. <laughs> hey, 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 slow down! I didn't. I swear. I have I've got bedroom issues. Hey, Jones! Welcome to Taiwan Jones's Emporium. My store has everything you're looking for. Dive on in. Uh, show me your wares. Uh, let's sell off all of our junk. 300 bucks. Guns. Uh, make sure. Does it actually. No. Uh, I don't need this mangler. I don't need the knives or the knucks. I only need one pulse gun. Armor. What about ammo? Classic revolver round has your back. Rocket ammo would be nice. I don't really think I should buy some ammo yet. We have bar rebar knuckles. 
the nail box. Army MG. Oh, Jesus. Flamethrower. The Law. Law does a lot of damage. Perkel. SWAT Rifle. Battle Rifle. Eh. A Flamin Werfer. Let's just hold on to our cash for now. And, uh, go ahead and turn this stuff in on the next episode. Thanks, folks. Hope you enjoy.